Nilda Sevilla goes through files of those that disappeared. Her brother was one of them. Hermon Lagman was a human rights lawyer. He was abducted in broad daylight 35 years ago by members of the military under President Marcos's dictatorship. There has been no sign of him since. The pain, the anxiety, they're still there. You know, because there is no closure. It's really painful that uh, we haven't found my brother, nor have we uh, found uh, justice uh, for him. Hermon was one of the more than 2,000 taken since the 1970s. Some were tortured, few were released, but most were never seen again. Human Rights Watch say the culture of impunity continues decades after the Marcos dictatorship. Since President Aquino took office in 2010, there have been at least 10 cases of enforced disappearances, and not a single conviction since then. But a new bill passed in the Philippine Congress against enforced disappearances is the first of its kind in Asia and a landmark in the country's battered human rights history. It will now hold the military commanders responsible for the actions of their subordinates, including abandoned legal detention centers. Those who break the law could face life in prison, but many question whether anything will change. Ironically, we continue to be um, the most murderous country you know, for activists, journalists, and lawyers. You know? And the reason behind this is the law is not enforced full stop. It's almost as if Congress legislate as a form of window dressing so that the international community can say that the Philippines is in fact serious in protecting the, life, the right to life and liberty. Our end state here is to get the support of the people. The military insists its soldiers now strictly adhere to international humanitarian law. The idea is not to make them simply comply, but for them to understand why we have to comply. We are arms bearer. We are an armed forces, a professional armed forces, and we have responsibility, as the state has a responsibility to this. Many Filipinos accept their loved ones will never be found. Their only hope that there will be no others and that the causes they fought for will not be forgotten. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.